Hey, this is OXDF, and today we're doing the 2024 Holiday Hack Challenge, the curling terminal. This challenge is all about learning to use the command line tool curl. I use it all the time. It's wonderful, super handy to know. Let's go ahead and take a look at the challenge. Uh, so basically, we're going to learn the basics of the curl command. Are we ready to go? We'll say yes. Uh, unlike, using, unlike the defined standards of a curling sheet, embedded devices can often have HTML web servers on non-standard ports. Use curl to retrieve the web page on the host curling fun port 8080. So it's simple as curl, uh, curling fun is the host. Um, optionally, you know, assuming we're using HTTP and not HTTPS, I could put this here. Uh, by default, it will just default to HTTP, so I can do that. And then if I want to switch to a non-port 80, I just do colon and then the port number. And so that's going to solve it for us. Um, I would probably get the same thing. I don't know what happens if I go back and do the same thing again, but you know, yeah, the same thing comes back if I just put HTTP in front of it. Um, and we're gonna get to HTTPS in just a second. So now it's saying uh, they often use self-signed certs where your browser will not trust the certificate presented. Uh, can you use curl to retrieve the TLS protected web page at curling fund 9090? So uh, if I just try to go here and do HTTPS curling fund, if I do it on 8080, it, it, that's not an HTTPS server, so it should fail, and it does. Yeah, so this is this is what you see. You're trying to speak HTTPS. It's saying I don't know, I don't know what that is. Uh, but let's switch to 9090 because that's what we that's what we're actually looking for. And this actually fails, and it says basically you have an SSL certificate problem or a TLS certificate problem, and we are not going to show you this page unless you tell us to override it. Uh, we're trying to protect you. Are you sure this is where you want to be? And the way you say yes, this is definitely what I want, is you put a dash K. And boom, now we've got uh, successfully bypassed the self-signed certificate. Self-signed certificate warning. Uh, you can use dash dash insecure or dash K, as we did. Um, so this now it says working with APIs and embedded devices often require making post requests. Um, you can use curl to send a post request to curling fund 9090 with the parameter skip set to the value alabaster. Um, so there's a couple ways we can do this. First of all, uh, we can push uh, dash X, I think it's like this, post. Uh, and that will send us a post request. And then we can do dash D, skip equals uh, alabaster, and that should work. Um, you actually don't need the dash X post. Um, in fact, we can do, if we do dash X get, uh, it's gonna say, you know, oh, we've got the, it's, it's not giving us the right thing. We didn't actually solve that next problem. Um, and that's because we explicitly said use a get request. Now we can get rid of this entirely. And this, when you use the dash D, that, that implies the curl. He's sending parameters. He probably wants a curl request. I'm just going to do curl unless he tells me something, or curl, post, unless he tells me something else. So uh, this is also will solve you successfully made a post request. So uh, awesome. Okay, let's check out the next one. Uh, APIs and embedded devices require maintaining session by passing a cookie. Um, use curl to send a request to the curling fund 9090 with a cookie called end and a value three, indicating we're at the third end of a match. So. One thing that's hard to get used to about curl, if you're in Firefox and you go to a page and you log in and it sets some cookies and then you visit the page again, those cookies just keep getting sent. Uh, curl, you kind of have to explicitly say that each time. So what we're gonna do here, uh, let's see, we don't need, we can get rid, whoa, that's control W in a real terminal gets rid of your last word. Uh, control W in a web terminal closes the web page. So we're gonna stay here and I'm just gonna delete manually. Uh, okay, so we can dash B here, or I think it's, I believe it's dash dash cookie. And then we just say, uh, what were we supposed to do? End equals three. And that should set our cookie to three when we send it. And we successfully set a cookie. Um, I wonder what happens if I don't, if I don't hit this, if, I think it's dash, let's try dash dash cookie end equals three. So that works too. Does it work if I do end equals four? No, it does not. Okay, so it is checking to see if we did three. So that dash dash cookie works just fine. Okay. Uh, so what's next? Uh, APIs and embedded, embedded devices sometimes require working with raw headers. Uh, use curl to view the HTTP headers returned by a request to curling fund. Okay, there's a couple things we can do here. The first thing we can do, and probably the, the well, what I usually go by default is just use dash V. Uh, so we'll still need dash K, HTTPS, curling fund 9090. Um, and so dash V is just going to spit everything out to the screen. Now this is going to be a lot. Um, I wonder if I can connect Tmux up in here. Yeah, we can. So we can see all of this stuff that comes out. Um, v gives me a lot. So here's me connecting. Here's the TLS handshake stuff. Uh, here comes back the self-signed certificate details. Now here we have the actual raw request being sent. That's a Git request. Uh, it's currently fun. Um, 
And then here comes back the response now. Here's the HTTP response with a server header, a date header, content type, etc. cetera. Um, and that is all there. Um, so we did get the header there. It's actually the, probably the, the more correct answer is to do dash I, which will send a head request and it will just show us the header information in the response. And so here we can see you have found the custom header. So we can get that either way, um, dash V or dash I, uh, either one. Cool. Uh, working with APIs and embedded devices sometimes requires working with a custom HTTP. Oh, we did. Uh, oh yeah, custom HTTP headers. This time we're going to send a request with an HTTP header, HTTP header called stone and the value grant. Uh, so the way we're going to do that, we go here, here's our request. And now we do capital H for header. Uh, and then we just do stone colon grant. Um, I use this a lot when I'm actually doing like a buff to brute force uh, host headers. So you can say you have to check for subdomains that reply differently than the standard domain. Um, you'd use this to capital H and then you'd say host and then you'd put the fuzz in right here and put the domain. Anyway, if that's over your head, don't worry about it. It's kind of more of an advanced technique. Um, but for this, that's going to set it right here. And boom, we've set the header. Uh, all right, number seven, curl will modify your URL unless you tell it not to. For example, if you use curl to retrieve the following URL containing special characters, uh, they want me to get this Etsy hacks thing. So by default, like it says, curl is going to normalize our URL. So it's probably, uh, let's actually check. I'm not 100% sure. Let's see. So we, we want, we near dash K, HTTPS, curling fun, 9090. Uh, dot dot etsy hosts hack that's not going to work but let's just try it anyway uh, it says these are not the hacks you're looking for i'm, I'm going to do a dash v here and see what see if we can see what it actually says uh, i'm doing control b because i'm in a tmux window and then page up to see what gets sent here um, and you can see here we just sent at it, we sent a get request for etsy hacks so even though we sent it to dot dot etsy hacks the dot dot just gets removed um because Curl says that that's not what you wanted to do. That's that's weird. That's kind of hacking. Now, as a hacker, I might want to do that. Um, so let's get the actual command we want here, like this. And then we just have to add path as is. And that flag right there is going to say, don't mess with my path. Just send it. I know it looks crazy. Just send it anyway. And boom, we've, we've used it to send, send it along. And uh, boom, we've actually just got the silver achievement. Um, now. I don't want just silver, I want gold, right? They don't tell me anything else. This just says we're done, you can close the terminal. Um, the trick here is let's look here. And if we run an LS here, we've got the hard mode.txt. And so we'll actually spit that out. And it says, oh, you wanna skip ahead without guidance, uh, use curl to requ request meeting these requirements. I need to send a post request uh, parameter. So I already know I'm gonna, let's see. I already know I can just use dash D here. So we're gonna use curl dash K. HTTPS curling fun 9090. Now uh, I need to throw a parameter, so dash D skip equals bow. And I need a cookie. Uh, now we'll remember, I, I'm now already sending a post request because as soon as I do dash D, that, that sets it to post by default. Uh, for cookie, I'll do dash B and we can say end equals 10. And we need a header, so dash capital H, hack, and that'll be 12 feet like that. Uh, cool. Okay, now excellent. Use the curl to access this command. That's easy enough. Curl dash k uh, https curling fun ninety ninety dot 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 the button and we just need the path as is flag. Boom. And now finally, we need to use curl to access the page that this URL redirects to. So curl dash k because we're using TLS uh, non trusted certificate. Curling fun, 9090, goods, sportsmen, yep. And we will just, what are we doing? Oh, we need, the, let's do a dash I so we get the redirect. And we'll, the redirect, 301, it returns a 301 move permanently with a location header that tells the browser where to go next. And so we just need to hit that. So curl minus K, HTTPS, curling fun, 9090, spirit, of curling.php. And boom, now we've solved hard mode. Now we've completed the challenge. Curl's a really handy utility. I, I use it all the time. Um, it's worth playing with and uh, practicing. So neat little challenge. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me today and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.